as a doctor learning in a medical school we were taught about inflammation but as a practicing doctor with patients i realized meta inflammation is a much bigger concept which we have ignored during medical school days meta inflammation is the main fire the silent fire in your body which is burning your brain your arteries your liver your muscle and your fat and contributing to diabetes high blood pressure high cholesterol obesity and many health problems how can you diagnose as a layman whether your meta inflammation in the body is on the higher side three simple tests number 1 triglyceride to hdl ratio if triglyceride to hdl ratio is below 2 which is very important in indians it means you are burning fat properly and your insulin sensitive but if your triglycerides and the hdl ratio is more than 2 which means for example your hdl is 40 and your triglycerides are 100 125 which is considered so called normal but it's not normal because this high ratio will actually create burning silent low grade non infection related in your brain in your arteries in your liver in your muscles in your fat contributing to all the diseases so first check your triglyceride hdl ratio number 2 is hscrp highly sensitive c reactive protein which is a very important marker of even heart disease that should be ideally below 1 at the most up to 3 and many of you who are having these health problems it will be on the higher side third simplest marker is your waist and your waist needs to be half of your height or less so there's no escape from patlikamar.com you have to have a flat tummy <laughs> if you need to enjoy great health because that visceral fat will generate more toxic fatty acids like palmitates into the blood and create issues overall meta inflammation is caused by excess nutrition less activity less sleep more stress the common jing bang of things but what you can do more is try and fix your leaky gut with the help of probiotics and glutamine and also google for potential renal acid loading foods pral foods and avoid the pral foods which are creating more acid in the body and increase those foods which actually make your body more alkaline so google for p r a l foods